Hello, Pisces viewers. I'm going to get right into the reading. Got a new tarot deck, so let's see what it has to say. As always, I am doing private readings as well. You can just email me at dragonenchantress at awol.com. That's right below in the description box. I also appreciate your comments. It helps me get back in the YouTube algorithm. Okay, we've got the Empress, the Ten of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, the Devil, the Chariot. Tell me more about the Devil and the Wheel of Fortune. King of Swords, Nine of Swords, the Fool. You're either leaving... Are you leaving a person behind that was in King or Queen of Swords energy, or are you leaving a cycle behind with this person? Page of Swords, Page of Cups, Queen of Swords, Knight of Wands, The Magician, the Page of Wands, I feel like you just kind of see them as sneaky and untrustworthy. You feel like pages are very immature, so it's almost like you feel like you just feel like you're at a crossroads with this person. Because you're the empress, you're all four queens combined, so I feel like you're, or all four kings combined, empress or emperor. But I feel like you're wrapping this cycle up. Some of you are actually leaving this person behind. Some of you are just done with this person. You feel like they're too immature. They're too sneaky. They're untrustworthy. They didn't take enough action towards you. You're stepping into your power as the empress or the emperor. You're letting this burden go. You're ending. There's some kind of karmic lesson, some kind of karmic cycle that I feel like you learn with this person. You're not in that devil energy anymore. You're going forward with the chariot. And you kind of feel like they're in that King or Queen of Swords energy, like emotionally unavailable. And I feel like it gave you a lot of anxiety. Actually, I think, is this King of Swords watching you move on and level up? The Moon, Queen of Wands. Yeah, and it's something that they didn't expect. So I actually took a second look at that and I channeled something different. It's like, actually, I think this King of Swords is the one that's having anxiety. So for some of you, you actually still love this person and you actually still do want to be with this person. But this person feels like you see them as sneaky, as immature, childish. You know, again, too, took too long to make a decision with you. I feel like they see you as somebody, that's how they're viewing you. They're viewing you as the entire package, as the empress, as a king or queen of wands type. They're viewing you as somebody who just, you might have a lot of love op options. They're viewing you as somebody who's wrapping these karmic cycles up, um, up with them, basically, and leaving them behind. And I feel like they're having anxiety and sleepless nights now about being in this king of swords energy, about being you know, stingy with their emotions about not being emotionally unavailable. It's like they really do want this new start with you, but they just keep thinking like, but you're not going to respond to this. They know that you're not going to respond to this. And so they're not sure what to do next. Um, but yeah, with the moon and the queen of wands, it's like they're seeing you leveling up. They're seeing either there's been a shift in your energy or you're at, coming towards the end of maybe like a dark night of the soul, that kind of energy. You're, you're getting out of a period of, you know, anxiety, of depression, of whatever was holding you back. Basically, just your energy is, is shifting. Even if you weren't in that negative of an energy, I just feel like the tables have turned here. There's some kind of cycle that you kept repeating, something that you kept allowing, and you're not allowing it anymore. You're moving forward with the chariot. Um, and yeah, with the moon and the queen of wands, it's almost like they didn't really expect you to ever level up and get in this energy. They thought you would keep allowing this energy that you would stay in this cycle with them. But with the moon, it's like secrets revealed. It's like there was something hidden. And what was hidden is that you kind of blossomed into this, you know, king or queen of wands overnight, somebody who's seductive, charming, powerful, charismatic. It's almost like it just hit them out of nowhere 
where it was like they didn't appreciate your your power, your beauty, your charm. You know, they might have seen you as uh, old reliable or they just kind of maybe maybe not that bad. But, it, it you know, it, it's, it's almost like you just you switched up on them. You might have new hobbies. You might have new friends. You might be going out and being more social. It's like something happened where they just it's, it's almost like overnight, like maybe even with like a, a recent moon cycle, you might have gone out and been posting pictures of it, something like that, where they're just like, oh, wow, like I didn't I did not expect that. And now they're having this anxiety. They're like, well, what do I do? How do I catch up? Like, you know, they expected you to stay stagnant. They expected you to stay in the same energy you were you were in. And almost overnight, you just changed. Um, how do you actually... So they think that you're leaving them behind, but you might not actually be leaving them behind. They might just think that you are. How do they... How do you actually feel about this person? Okay. <laughs> I guess this one wants to come out. Four of Cups... Six of Wands, or Six of Swords, sorry. Judgment. Nine of Wands. You feel like it's a struggle with this person. You feel like they really rejected you. You feel like you want peace in your life. Six of Wands. King of Wands. Temperance. The world. I feel like, do you want this person back though? Do you actually want this person back? The sun. The southern of wands. Knight of swords. Four of pentacles. You do want them. I think some of you actually do want them back. Some of you just feel hopeless. Some of you have just given up on this. But others of you, I think you do want them back. But you just feel like they're not going to step into masculine energy and fight for you or, you know, male or female, it's like you feel like this person's going to keep being, you know, prideful, kind of greedy, kind of stingy with their emotions, holding back a little bit too much. So it's like there's not a lot of hope there, but some of you do still have a soft spot for this person where you, you are still wanting it deep down. But yeah, I feel like you just leveled up so quickly. So how are they, what are they planning on doing about this? So they're having a lot of anxiety, a lot of sleepless nights over you right now because they do want this new start, but they, they thought they had more time too. I think that they thought that they could just kind of, you know, come to you in this king or queen of swords energy and that you would tolerate it and that they would have time to maybe slowly progress into being a, a king or queen of, of wands or cups but now it's almost like overnight you're just like no like I'm doing something else like maybe you just met somebody else or they think that you're meeting other people they think that they just feel like you're not really waiting for them anymore they just feel like your energy switched up on them so what are they planning on doing about this three of swords three of cups Seven of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. Some of you, they tried to replace you with a third party and it just didn't really work. They felt heartbroken and they tried to just ignore what they felt and go off with somebody else and it didn't really work. And now they're wanting to build things with you and they're wanting that Ten of Cups with you. Um, for others, I feel like they see you with somebody else or they either, if you're not already with somebody else, I feel like they have a fear that you're going to manifest somebody else. I think that, and, and you know, I feel like it might just be if you're going out, they just see you as somebody who's very attractive. You know, you're single, you're charming, or you're, maybe you're talkative. They just have that kind of anxiety. They're like, well, if I'm not giving them love, like maybe somebody else is going to come give them love. So that it's, it's like they are. They are wanting to put in the work here to get to that 10 of cups with you. Because they know they don't, they know they're not going to find that happiness with somebody else. Yeah, they feel left out in the cold. I kind of feel like this person is saying like, hell no, you're not leaving me out in the cold. Like, hell no, you're not 
choosing them over me. Like they're almost getting a little, um, they're, they're, um, I don't know, not prideful, but they're, they're almost getting a little possessive of you where they're like, you know, they see you switching up and getting into this charismatic energy. And it's like, they want, it's almost like a sexual drive towards you too, where they're like, no, like I'm not letting somebody else have that. That's my person. You've got the 10 of pentacles. Yeah, it's like 10 of cups, 10 of pentacles. They're like, no, like we're building this. We're not going to be in the five of pentacles, like, you know, alone, like rejected. Like you see someone here, like the beggar, it's like anxiety, like someone being left out in the cold. Um, I feel like they're panicking, basically. Nine of swords, we got anxiety in both these cards. I feel like this person's pretty much panicking. They're like, oh my God, like I, I did not, I thought I had more time. I didn't expect them to go through this glow up practically overnight. Like, I didn't expect them to go from being antisocial and being kind of a hermit to all of a sudden going out to clubs and, you know, joining dating apps and making new friends. And, you know, they're like, like, they're like, what the, like, they're trying to process it. They're like, what the hell is going on here? Like, like, they're trying to catch up. And I think, yeah, I think they're panicking. They're like, okay, I have to move out of this energy quick. They're kind of saying, it's almost like they feel upset over you and they feel kind of left out in the cold. And they're like, hell no, we're not doing that. We're getting the 10 of cups together. We're getting the 10 of pentacles together. Like, this is what we've, you know, this is what we wanted together. Like, we're doing this still. And this could be somebody too. This could be somebody that you have like a long-term relationship and maybe you guys broke up. Like maybe you broke up with them because they weren't giving you enough and now they're really determined to win you back. Or this could be somebody from your past. But yeah, for some, I do feel like this could be like a long-term relationship because it's that energy where they're like, oh, wait a minute. I did not, like maybe during Mercury Retrograde, like you might maybe broke up with them or they broke up with you or something happened, um, like some kind of detachment or distance. And they're like, oh, hell no, like, I've gone through, I've gone through too much. I'm hearing, I'm hearing like, I listen to a lot of rock music, but I do listen to pop once in a while, but I'm hearing that the Beyonce ring the alarm, like that kind of energy, <laughs> that song. Um, yeah, it's like, they're having this anxiety and they're like, no, they're like, no, like, no, I'm not being rejected. No, you're not choosing somebody else over me. No, we're not breaking up. Like you're, you know, you're my person, come back and sit down, calm yourself, like, we're gonna work through this, like, I'm not, like, they're coming in quick, they're like, no, I'm not letting this go, um, ace of wands, lots of sexual energy, too, <laughs> strength, the hierophant, I feel like, too, some of them are trying to think of how to win you back. So whether this is somebody that you were actually with in you, like a long-term relationship and you guys broke up or whether this was like somebody you were dealing with or like an ex that just, you know, was not really being receptive and emotionally available with you. It's like they just kind of figured they had all the time in the world that you would stay stagnant and then you, you, you know, went through this glow up and now they're like, oh, damn, like I better come in quick before I lose my person. I feel like they're trying to be strong too and I feel like they're trying to be strong too and not say too much. I think that they're terrified of you rejecting them, of you not giving this another chance because some of you are not giving this another chance and others of you, it's like you kind of want to, but it's like you don't trust this person. You know, you feel like they're too immature. You feel like they'll go back to the same patterns. If you give them another chance, they'll take you for granted again. Like you have your doubts. Um, they have a lot of strong like sexual energy, passion towards you. But again, it's like they're they're trying to hold it back because they don't want to say too much. They don't want to say the wrong things. They don't want to, they don't want to piss you off. They don't want to, um, they're really trying to plan their approach. You know what I mean? Cause it's like one of those people, it's like that heartbroken kind of energy I get from this person where it's like, they might be drinking a lot over you or just really in their head about you. Just really terrified that they've really lost you for good this time. Um, and, and yeah, it's, it's like with the strength card here, I just, I feel like, like they're trying to, it's almost like they might get drunk or they might get in this, you know, sober or drunk. It's like they get in this really emotional energy and they stop themselves from messaging you and just pouring it all out or just putting too much on you. Cause it's like, they, they're trying to hold themselves back with the hierophant, you know, traditional energy. They're trying to, they're trying to stay balanced. I feel like it is saying they do want marriage with you. 
um, or they do want this commitment now. Will you give this another chance? Five of, five of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Four of, of Wands. I feel like if they fight for you, they will, you will. Like if they really make an effort. Like if they show you that they're the king of pentacles, it's almost like you're going to be observant. You're going to be in this high priestess energy. You're going to you're going to watch them. You're going to be like, "Okay, are you really the king or queen of pentacles now? Or like are you really the stable, loyal person now? Are you really somebody who's going to realize that you have a high priestess? Like are you really in this energy now or is this just an illusion? Is this just a fantasy?" Like, show me something. But I feel like for a lot of you, if they prove themselves to you, if they show that they're willing to fight for you, if they chase you, if they show you that they love you, if they really make the effort and they put themselves out there for you, then I think that you are going to open yourself up to this. You might just be in a period of kind of observing them and seeing what they do next. Um, let's see here. What else do I want to ask? What else? So what are the final messages about this? The hanged man, new perspective, the emperor, two of cups, ace of swords. I feel like they do have this new perspective coming in about how to be in this masculine energy, how to be an emperor and be emotional and give you this, this offer. Clarity, communication. Got the Six of Pentacles. Hmm. Justice. Yeah, balance. Balance coming in, Knight of Pentacles. I think they are bringing this offer in. It's... I mean, the Knight of Pentacles takes a long time, but they are steady. They are loyal. And they do want to balance out the skills. They do want justice with you. So can you trust this? Can you trust this? Their intentions, their energy is coming forward. They really want to win you back. The lovers, the hermit, two of Pentacles, king of cups, the star, it's going to take them so yes the love is there it is going to take them some time to become this king of cups um I don't think I think they're wanting to come through right away and just be like oh I'm this person right now I'm like totally ready like everything's great and like I think that they're becoming this person though you know what I mean like they're learning to find that balance they have had to go in this like kind of hermit mode and I feel like you triggered that in them I feel like losing you triggered them to go into hermit mode and look at what's really important to them, which is you. Love is what's important to them. They're they're aligning with love. They're aligning with their true ideals now. They're becoming the person that they want to be, but it's still a process. You know what I mean? I feel like they might want to just be like, oh, I'm there now because they're so terrified of losing you because they do see you as the one. They do see you as that end-all, be-all, that person that they want to marry. Um, but it it does look like they're changing. Again, it doesn't look like an overnight change, but it does look like they are committed to changing for you for the connection, but also just for themselves. They're also just, it's kind of like you, you are this bright light in their life and you made them, um, again, you know, align with these ideals of, of love, of uh, commitment of it's like you show them another side of themselves and now they're doing the shadow work because they have to they don't have you to do that work for them anymore you know you're you're gone you're out of the picture they have no choice they've been left alone they they have to do the shadow work themselves you know they, they're kind of realizing that they're, they're just going to be alone they're not only going to lose you but they're not really going to have a happy life unless they do that shadow work and become this king or queen of cups. So so again, there's a process. It's, you know, healing isn't really linear. It's it's up and down. They're going to have days when they struggle with it. And then they're going to have days when they're doing really well. This person might even need counseling as well. They might need some kind of help getting through this. But, you know, so it, it's not like a smooth road necessarily. But but I do see them putting that energy in, you know, going into hermit mode, looking at their themselves, looking at their patterns, looking at who they are, who they want to be what they want with you, 
you know, just just really reevaluating their family relationships, friendships, just really doing some soul searching right now and finding that balance, learning how to be the person they want to be, which is the king of cups. So they are putting the work in with the star, you know, uh, they, they are putting the energy into this. So anyway, I hope that helps somebody. And like I said, if you want a private reading, my email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. That's right below in the description box. And again, any comments are appreciated. It, it really helps me get back into the algorithm with YouTube. So thanks for watching.